And we're back. Much more Rim World and our much, much, much smaller colony. Yeah, things are uh, things are a little bit unfortunate right now. But we have a plan. The plan is we need to rescue as many of our surviving pawns as possible. We've got uh, the Luke here, Patrick there. We've got Mayo, uh, Sasha Gross, Jason Burke. Though, Jason, yeah, you're trapped in a 400 degree room. I'm not sure we can get to you in time. We'll do our best, but... Uh, we've got Odin McClintock down here, and then we have, oh, Jay, uh, Jay Rube and Joey over there, and where are they? Dan somehow is up and walking around again. Uh, yeah, good on them. They're in no immediate danger, and they're slowly wandering their way back, though I don't know. Well, I don't think they're going to make it somehow. We might want to have them hold up, say, about there, and maybe, yeah, we're going to send in rescue teams. We've got two squads. One squad, the liquidators are going to head over here. Their job is to break into this section and start clearing it out. We need to get rid of everything that's around here so that we can reclaim this hospital zone. Uh, we have a second squad. Uh, the Ravager squad are going to come over here. Their job is to clear out that pikeman, close that door. We're going to consider this a lost cause for now. It's just too much area to reclaim. And we still have to worry about a bunch of enemies down here getting in there. So we're just going to lock this area off, seal it off, and then we should only have to worry about, say, closing that door there. And then closing, ooh, no, no, we don't want to close that door. Close this door here. Then close that door there. Uh, that door there. And that door there. And then we should have a sealed in area. As long as we kill everything inside it, we'll have access to all of our storage areas, including the food, medicine, and drugs. Uh, medicine and drugs, then food, I suppose, in that order would be more appropriate. Uh, that will also give us action, uh, access to our kitchens again, which means we can make more food if necessary. And from there, we're going to try and expand out further. While simultaneously, this allows us to rescue the most amount of pawns that are downed. Though some of them are probably going to bleed out before we can even get close to them. I mean, uh, for example, Sasha over here, yeah, 0.6 hours. I don't think we can get to them quick enough. We might just actually try running someone to nab them and, and run back. That might be possible. You know what? Let me think about that for a minute. We're going to get Nick over here to chug some go juice. They're already on five movement speed because they have a bionic leg. So if we ghost them up with go juice, we can run them out here and maybe rescue Sasha. It's all about keeping as many pawns alive as possible right now. Mayo can hold out just that little bit longer. Uh, so if we can run them down here and then get them to path back through this section, that would be great for us. If they try and go through here, that, no, that would be problematic. Let's hope they don't do that. Uh, actually, cancel mining that out. And we are going to make sure that that wooden door... Yeah, there. That should mean they'll have to come back to this section, assuming we do it right. All right. Let's start this up. It's going to be a rough day. Also, Emily's not feeling too happy, so uh, she's taking a little bit of the nose candy. We need to make sure she stays happy if her mood dips much more. I think we failed the quest. So she's going to take a snort of the happy juice. Uh, everyone else is just repairing up our kill box. We're probably going to need to use it at some point, but for now... Oh god, who's shooting? Oh, everyone. You know what, I'll skip this forward a bit because there's going to be... It's going to be frame-like. We're moving literally a frame at a time. We're currently on seconds per frame right now. Though, I, I do have to point out my favourite happening right now. It's these two centipedes. They are shooting at each other, and they're doing absolutely zero damage. They're both armed with Inferno Cannons, which do nothing against other centipedes or other mechanoids. This Lancer is actually doing... well, is the only one damaging this one. So the two of them are shooting at each other, doing zero damage, while standing in the midst of uh, a fire popper foam. So they literally can't even light the f ground on fire around each other. And they're just going to keep doing that for as long as they want. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see how all that works out for them in the end. One of our first rescue missions here is going to be La Rumbe. They have just loaded up on Gojuice as well. Uh, it hasn't kicked in, I don't think, just yet. But their job is to run down here and they're going to grab Odin McClintock. Odin's only got 0.7 hours left. They may not make it, but we got to take all the risks we can. Well, we got to try and risk saving a few people here. And this person over here, Nick, we're going to get you to res rescue Sasha. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now you should bring them back to a hospital bed. Let's hope they take the right directions. If they try, We can't really control the direction they return by. Uh, so we might have to lock the doors afterwards. Jerome, come on, get moving, buddy. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Yeah, over here we've got uh, this raid of humans. How many was there again? Uh, eh, never mind. You know what? There's like about 600 of them. But from what I can see, they don't have doomsdays, which is actually mildly unfortunate for us. Uh, the reason being, the doomsdays, they would fire in close combat and help murder each other. They don't actually have any really... They have a few grenades and molotovs and stuff, which is nice, but... Unfortunately, Doomsdays would have been more messy and would have caused more of them to die. But I think they're going to have problems. There's definitely lots of centipedes and more mechanoids inbound. I'm going to head their direction. So I think that should uh, help sort them out. Oh, down here, 
There's three pawns you would love to rescue, but they're just too far away and there's too much. Oh, wow. Yeah, those things are already moving that direction. Those Lancers. Uh, yeah, well, we've got people on the way to seal that door. We're sending in the Brute Squad. We've got three of our uh, our Hammer Smashers. They're coming this direction. They're going to kill that Pikeman and head that way. The uh, Ravager team are going to come down here and clean out this section. And the Liquidators are getting set up in there to clean out that section. I, I think this is going well. Lerum is already on their rescue mission, and Nick is already on their mission. Though it's, uh, yeah, it's moving pretty slow. It took 43 minutes to load this save. Though, on the bright side, this should be the last time we have to load this save. Lerum man managed to... Uh, grab to do the rescue mission however they ended up tangling with the centipede we'll take care of that in a minute and uh, nick over here has managed to grab yep yep and they're bringing him back the right way thankfully oh that's good to know and we've got people right out going to rescue luke and patrick uh you head over this direction actually you can go help out with that pikeman there's also a centipede down here we got to take care of before it kills off all our tombs I, I started assigning them out already though some of the corpses will be incinerated in the uh, the blazes we've got going on unfortunate but mm, bound to happen the plan is working okay-ish. By okay-ish, I mean we've managed to reclaim this area out here and reclaim our hospital, which is great. Our second hospital is going to really help speed up the healing, and hopefully we can take care of some people who haven't been getting their tending just yet. We managed to take down the centipede down here. We're going to have the, the remaining brute squad come down here and clean up that centipede. That should secure this area. Uh, then once they're finished with that, I think that we're going to have them come down here and take out that inferno centipede. But that still leaves us with a bunch of nasties around here. The... Uh, was it the the Ravager squad are down here? They're going to take care of that centipede, and when they do, we're going to try and do a quick run to rescue Jay and Dan. Hopefully, we can get them out of there. Unfortunately, Joey succumbed to their wounds before we could get close to them. Uh, as well as that, we have the Liquidator squad over here. They're coming down this section, and they're going to try and take out that centipede. Once they do, I think we're going to knock out that wall segment to help equalize the temperature and hopefully cool this place down enough. Then we can hopefully reclaim this kitchen area as well. And that will give us access to this fridge. This fridge is actually... What's the temperature? Minus 8. Fridge is still perfect. Thankfully, this actually survived the whole thing intact, which is actually very surprising, considering the, the rest of the devastation in the area. I think... I think we're kind of stabilizing, but only a little bit. Uh, I mean, even though we're going to kill this and rescue these two, we've still got a centipede over here, 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 uh, another one here, here, and here. So we still have to kill those, it's just we're cutting a path to where we need to go to get the, uh, to rescue as many of our colonists as possible. And we just need that one to go down. What are you doing, 18%? Just die already, you aggression, judgment, scrambled piece of junk. We need to rescue our people. We managed to rescue the two pawns there, well, they're on their way back. I don't know if they'll survive, but they're definitely heading back to the hospital. Down here, though, we have a super centipede. Now, why would I give it the title of a super centipede? It's just a regular centipede. However, the amount of damage it's done has been, well, super. That's uh, 27 solar generators that have been destroyed and four wind turbines. Oh, that's so expensive. Just so expensive. It got trapped in here with a couple of scythers. Well, actually, a few scythers and a pikeman, a few other mechs, but it killed all of them and then, you know, proceeded to just demolish the rest of the solar panels. Oh, that's so painful. Also, we got another one over here just doing a similar number. It could leave. At any point, they could all leave. There's a there's a gap right here. Look, they, they already destroyed one of the coolers. So they could leave or they could attack each other. But no, no, no. They're just going to keep killing all the solar panels. Right. Uh, over here, this team is going to wipe out this. Uh, over here, we've managed to save the kitchen. It was starting to get a bit hot in here, so we, I ran in some people to put the flames. As well as that, our, uh, our generator room is now, well, it's clean. There's, uh, that's because there's no generators or chem fuel left in it, and eventually the, the heat in there will die down. And I think, I think this crowd is going to have to go in here and start cleaning out this area. Currently, we have, currently we have a wonderful combat between this Lancer, which has, uh, it's missing its right arm. But it still has its left arm. It's got like 10 points out of 22. So it's got a hat. It's like 39% of a left arm left. Okay, that, whatever. Its shoulder, though, almost gone as well. So it's at 6% manipulation. And it's using its stump of an arm to punch the, the Lancer across from it, which is completely missing its left arm, which is its gun arm. And its right arm is down to one point of health, which means they, they've barely got like, they're, they're like scratching what's left of a stump. I assume they're just headbutting each other at this point. There's just nothing else they can hit each other with, bar their own heads. But, uh, and then of course, there's this centipede that's got a inferno cannon that's shooting at them. Of course, that does nothing to them, it just sort of, they, they sit in the fire and kind of laugh a little bit. Especially considering there's also a uh, flame retardant all over the place, which means the fire just, you know, instantly goes out. Yep, just another day on the job. We took this team down here, they're uh, killing off a remaining flame centipede. Then we've got the other team coming up here where they're about to uh, chew into those two sections. And our little brute squad is down here wiping out another centipede. 
we're slowly but surely claiming back our base. Uh, they should be able to disable that, and when they do, we can go down and close that door. And then we just have to close that door. And... Ooh, that one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, over here might be a little bit trickier, considering this whole place is 166C. Yeah, our hay went up. I really wish the flame poppers would go, but on, on default levels, the, the flame poppers don't go off unless the flames get within a certain distance or something. I'm not sure quite what it is, but it really should be popped already, but they're not. Oh well, uh, it just means we're going to have more burnings going on. You finished with that centipede yet? Yay, nice job. I think it's time you went and claimed another section. I'm thinking down here we can close this door once we wipe out that lancer. Actually, before we do that, I think we'll put out these doomsdays that are on fire. That would be... That would be a good idea. We should stop those from burning. That would just cause more damage. In fact, let's put out a few fires while we're here. We managed to save both the doomsdays down to 62% and 58% respectively. They weren't in danger. I think it has to go below about 33% before they have a chance to start detonating, so we were safe on that front. Kevin Sink here just managed to pass through that door, so that door is going to close, and we're just having them hang around for the fire. I only sent one person forward. There was no point risking everyone else. Once the Lancer was downed, that'll leave that centipede trapped on the other side of the door. Scrabbles is coming down here to close this door, which will seal off this area, meaning we'll have access to all of our uh, trade goods again, or, well, our storage areas, even though they're all completely dark because all the lights are gone. Yay. Um, right, down here, we're having... Yes, Decoth come down and move that scyther out of the door. Then the door will close behind them, which means we'll be sealed from all the way from this corner, all the way across here, up and over. That means we'll have reclaimed this whole area. We have already reclaimed this area. Uh, in fact, we reclaimed everything up to about here. Uh, ooh, so we still have to clear out sort of this area here. If we could reclaim the throne room, that mortar room, that would be really handy for taking care of that uh, that siege that's going to set up at some point. They haven't done it yet, but maybe throwing a few mortars into the mix would definitely trigger them, which would cause them to run into the remaining centipedes. Uh, so if we could just claim over here. That door's already closed, so we just got to kill everything that's in here and maybe build a wall here. There's some steel lying around. I'm thinking we could just build a quick steel wall right there. Who cares about all the stuff over here? Because we're not we're not going to be able to reclaim this section just yet. There are still far, far, far too many living centipedes. We're down to 252, so about 150 have died in the last hour or so of game time. Well, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're down to 11 hours. So we started at 12. It's an hour has passed. We've been rescuing like crazy. Though, I keep making mistakes. There's just too much going on, and even though it's moving slowly, you make stupid mistakes. Like, oh, Chris over here. They are our only pawn with teleport. Or skip. And I let them get down. They should have been out of there. They should have been invisibilized and skipped and brought back home. Just, oh, I know. And instead I left them there. They're going to bleed out now in about 0 0.6 hours. And we can't rescue them. Actually, I might have been able to rescue them. The moment I went down and cleared out this centipede, I should have run a pawn over here and we could have rushed them in to grab Chris and run back out again. Why didn't I? Didn't think of it. Just sloppy, sloppy play. Uh, Uzo over here is going to bleed out in two hours. There was no chance for them. Jess has actually got 12 hours left. There is a chance we can rescue Jess. Though, yeah, we'll have to see. But slowly but surely, we're just going to have to grind our way back out and capture more of our base. I'm thinking after we reclaim this section here, it might be an idea to come down and reclaim this whole section. It's actually still, most of the walls are intact. All we have to do is clear out the baddies that are left in there. Uh, some of the areas are a bit hot, but, you know, we can we could probably rescue a bunch of it. Somehow, I completely managed to miss that there was a Lancer in here just smashing things up for ages. It's destroyed, I don't know how many of these advanced fabrication benches. Just didn't notice. Just left it in there. Look, not even a scratch on it. Yeah, this isn't going to go well for you, buddy. Ow. Well, you're missing your entire arm. You know what? That's a good start. Let's see if we can make you missing your entire face. It's working. We're slowly but surely gaining back control of parts of our base. Not all of it, but parts of it. Once we get a marble block in there, this area will be sealed off and that will make sure nothing can accidentally wander in. Though, there's actually, well, there's three uh, enemies down here that we have to kill. A couple of enemies in there we can kill. Unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of breaches in these walls, so this claim, reclaiming this area is going to be much more difficult, but we should be able to reclaim some of these areas through here without, uh, with some difficulty, but not a huge amount of difficulty. But then things get horrific over here. There's just so many breaches in the walls and so many holes made. Reclaiming that's going to be an absolute nightmare. But up here, it's actually a little bit better. If we reclaim these wall segments there and we put in a wall there, we could probably reclaim this all of this area in here and add that all back in. I think that will be our next step. Well, I'm uh, sending a Gojuice person over here to go on a rescue mission. We want to see if we can't grab Jess while they're still alive. They're our last downed colonist, the only one we have a hope of rescuing. Everyone else, yeah... They either got rescued or they didn't make it. 
even more land has been returned to us. We uh, went out here to rescue one of our pawns, and when we did, we passed through this door. I, I completely blanked it was there, and it closed behind them. This actually seals off this area. Once I realised that, I'm like, oh, perfect. All we had to do then was send in a small squad to deal with this scyther that was left behind, and our, uh, our colonist has been rescued. Hopefully we can get them back and healed up in time. But that was our last rescue job that we have to do. All the rest now we can take our time. Well, time enough. I've got a squad down here clearing out this area. We've killed all the baddies in it. The problem is... Well, we've got scythers, lancers, centipedes, all sorts showing up from the that drop that didn't get insanity. So we're probably going to want to evacuate this area. However, they will have no way into our area because we've sealed off all the areas that could potentially let them in. In fact, they should have to go all the way around here and through the Great Centipede Graveyard. And by the time they do that, Sonica is going to wall off here. And we have another pawn coming along to wall off here and close that door. That, oh, and that's sealed off there which means we should be able to regain all of this territory here, well, not the hayfields or this mortar section here, but everything else, and they will be sealed off, leaving their only target will be this. So they should go over here and start having a chat with this crowd. They can go have a nice big conversation. While they are, we can go about reclaiming more territory and hopefully rebuilding and repairing some of the damages. Oh, well, for example, look at this mess. This damn centipede's been having a party. But uh, we have our, our little Imperial Guard squad have come over to teach it a lesson about manners and when you go visit other people's houses. The engine has six hours left on it. We just got to survive six more hours. Though I have uh, sent someone to emergency replace this <laughs> the ship beacon part because, uh, yeah, we need that beacon if we want the this, this ship to land in the right space. It would be really awkward if it was to land, I don't know, over here or something. That would be bad. So let's get the beacon all set up and ready to go for the next six hours. More of our base has been reclaimed. Lots more. We've managed to reclaim this area by replacing these walls with steel walls. There was nearby steel, it was just faster that way. Robert's going to try and build those walls there as well. If we can replace those wall segments, we'll be able to reclaim this area here and grab ourselves some more hay. We're going to need hay for our animals, though. I think at this point, uh, you know, I'm not too worried about the the animals at this point. I think I think we're close enough to endgame, it doesn't matter. Unless we end up having to build the rest of the ship as opposed to escaping with Emily. Now I'll just show you what I do when I'm trying to figure out where to do, well, where to make the next cut, so to speak. Uh, let's just say I take this over here as an example. If we were trying to reclaim this area, we'd have to build one, two, three, four, five wall segments, six wall segments, seven wall segments to reclaim this whole area. That's uh, pretty expensive. But we could come down to say here where these walls are all intact. And then if we just say wall across here, we put in three wall segments right there. What that would mean is all the rest of these walls are intact and we could reclaim this area. This entire area here could be reclaimed if we just put in three wall segments. Of course, maybe we could go up a bit further because, I mean, we've got up to here, right? But then you would have to take one, two, three, four, five. Actually, five wall segments and we could take this entire corner. Hmm. So we would have to clear out all the, uh, the centipedes that are in there first. There's a lot of danger. But, you know, it, it's pretty much the, the, the cause at the moment is we're just going around trying to reclaim everything. We've already got back this bedroom set, this bedroom set, and this bedroom set. If we can get our last set of bedrooms, that would just be so nice so our opponents could get a nap. Quite a few of them are sleeping on the ground right now. Time for all our animals to migrate back to the where they belong. The fridge. Oh, Tia. Do we not have your bedroom reclaimed? Yeah, don't worry, we'll get it soon enough. I'm just trying to beat out the fires in this room first. The crop fires got a little bit out of control, but I think we're almost done. Hey, what are you doing? Just, you know, uh, fight the fires first before you leave the area. And are you carrying a doomsday? What? Hmm, I should maybe get them an, an SMG before they do something stupid. Well, fire's gone out, which... Yeah, excellent. All our pawns can now finally get back to work. At the same time, we're going to activate a couple of Sood Pulsers. Namely because, well, mental breaks have started. No one's happy. No one at all. Well, maybe the psychopaths are happy. Uh, let's check out the needs here. Oh no. Did the game just hang? Yep. Yep, game's just hung. You can tell. There's this uh, big pile of, you know, waft going on out here from this psychic Sood Pulser, and the game just decided no. All right, judging by the hang, this is probably going to be about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, let, let, let's check back in and see what Randy has in store for us. Well, joy of joys. It's actually not that bad. It's about uh, it's about 300 tribals armed with sticks. They'll be fine. And then we got another 300 tribals over here armed with sticks. Unfortunately, they're sappers, which uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. 
problem we have with sappers is they're going to dig holes through our perfectly good walls and mess with our reclaimed territory, which is going to reset us on a bunch of fronts, which is bad. Uh, also, this crowd's still half a new, but that's that, that's fine. I don't think this crowd are going to go near them. It'd be really nice if that crowd had have appeared over there. They could have slaughtered each other, but I think they're just going to end up drilling through our walls and we're going to have to end up killing them all. Oh, well, let's, uh, let's see where they go and then we'll see where we have to send everyone to defend. We only have two hours left on the engine. Two hours. Oh, that actually reminds me. That was another raid, so we need to go into mod settings, uh, unlimited threat scaling, and add it up an extra 5,000. You know what? If Randy decides to hit us one more time, let's make sure it's a fun one. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, 100,000. Why not? Just if he decides to hit us one more time. I don't think he will. What the hell is that big glow thing? No, I think that was uh, the second suit pulser going off. That should hopefully give everyone a good mood boost. Strange feeling by two. Nice. Plus 26. Uh, maybe they have uh, a few bonuses. Yes. Whoa, 26 to everyone? Yep, that should that should keep everyone going until the very end of this. That's that's great. I mean, oh my god. What is wrong with this person? Psychic harmonizer, psychic harmonizer. Strange feeling. Why are they so unhappy? Wake of withdrawal. Neural echo. Colonists left unburied. Five colonists died. Observed two corpses. Slept on the ground. My friend died. Disturbed sleep. My friend died. My friend died. My friend died. My friend died. Yeah, it's pretty hard to keep people happy these days. Oh, wow. Emily's not as, as happy as we'd like her to be. She's got a strange feeling by two. Gorgeous environment. Psychic harmonizer. Eight lavish meal. Psychic harmonizer. Recreation. You know what you need? More drugs. Someone get her some more flake. Well, we do have some good news. This crowd over here seems to have drawn the attention of a bunch of centipedes. So there's like one, two, three, four centipedes here. And they're, of course, tangling with them. Uh, the rest of them seem to be coming down here. They seem to be trying to go down into our bedroom area down this section, which is already infested with, well, centipedes and mechanoids of all sorts and varieties. I think these uh, these tribals are going to take care of themselves. The other set of tribals, I'm not sure. This one seems to be digging through this wall segment. Very slowly, but that could just be that the frames per second are, well, seconds per frame. So, I'm going to bring over one of our casters. Where are they? Uh, Ortec. Ortec, what are you doing? Ooh, I still have that door closed. That is so inefficient. Yeah, we're going to bring Ortec over here and hopefully they can get off a few berserk pulses and maybe slow them down or mess them up. We'll, we'll find out when he gets here. One other thing I should have done a while back was edit the drug policy. It's time a couple of more things went onto the menu. There we go. If their mood ever goes below 25%, they're going to hammer some Yale, and if it goes below 26%, they'll hammer some Flake. So they'll hammer one or the other, hopefully, and keep themselves going. We may get a few overdoses, but... Well, at this late stage, the odd overdose doesn't seem to make much difference, and plus, I, I still have to figure out who died, if we can get them buried, get everyone into... Ah, uh, what do you call them? Into sarcophagi. It, it's it's going to be painful, but first, first we have to mow down a whole bunch of filthy tribals. I just noticed something when I was checking the quest. The shuttle arrives in two seconds. Well, one second. Uh, oh, have we finished the beacon? Please tell me we finished the beacon. Yep, yep, beacon is there. Unpowered? Why is it unpowered? Come Power conduit. Right. Well, this could be awkward. Please tell me it still works, even if one part of it is unpowered. It's not, though, is it? It's not. Here comes the shuttle. Where are you going? No... No, no, please, no. Don't, don't land that in the open. Please don't do that. Don't you know there's centipedes out there? God damn it. <laughs> so dumb. Is it there? Right, we need to get people out to defend that immediately. That is, um, that is literally a matter of life and death. Ah, oh, buggery. Now, can we run everyone to the shuttle now? That's the question. Get everyone to pick up the sick and injured dump them onto the shuttle, and I think there's a way to get everyone onto the shuttle. Now, it technically has a weight limit of a thousand, but there may be a way around that. Actually, let me do some research. All right, from the way I understand it, if you tell all your pawns at once to get into the shuttle, it only checks the weight limit then. This hasn't been patched in 1.2. Once you go to 1.3, I think it's been patched in one of those versions of it. So theoretically, if we just tell everyone to run for the ship and just leg it... Okay, to... Parting in three days requires Emily contents nothing. But we gotta put on the sick and injured first. We gotta make sure all the people who can't walk are carried. Hmm. What about this? Uh, 
we can leave a few people behind to act as rear guard, namely casters or tech and make a horrible mess with some berserk pulse to just slow them down. This crowd over here are going to be running into some centipedes, so that should slow all of them down. Uh, animals are not coming with us, so ooh, we can let them off the leash. Yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time we started running. Give me a minute. So, we're going to get everyone who's incapacitated, like Mr. Mayo here, and we're going to carry them to the shuttle. So I've arranged for someone to carry all of the people who are incapacitated, of which we have nine. We have nine people who are incapacitated, which is, you know, well, two of them, I suppose, were meat beacons to begin with, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Then we just have to get another crew together to make sure... Oh, oh damn. I should have made sure I knew who was carrying who now, shouldn't I? We have all of our unconscious people being carried, and I've noted down all the people who are doing the carrying so that we can avoid doing... Well, okay, let's see. We'll get a nice open space over here. We're going to select everyone, like the whole lot of them. Then what we're going to do is deselect those ones. Come on. Hold on the shift key. You can do this even with all the uh, the frames we're dropping. Perfect. Then we're going to take all of those. Oh, also leave Ortec there. Ortec's on go juice and uh, ready to do what needs to be doing. Now we're going to want everyone. Every, everyone. Everyone! And come on, move there. Yep, there we go. <laughs> that's, uh... That's fine. It's going to take a while for some of them to get there because, well, you know, the game's going to lag out a little bit. But that's fine. That's fine. Ortec is just doing a little bit of berserk pulsing on these crowd over here. That's just to slow them down and keep them off us. And this crowd over here are running into centipedes, so that should also keep them off us. And, oh my god, I'm going to deselect those. Some of our people are going to be very slow. If people are too slow, we might just get them to take some goo juice if they got it on them. Nope, you don't. Well... Hopefully you all make it in time. God, it's going to take us about a day to get there. Yeah, everyone's going to start migrating that way. You'll see the blue blob can congeal around that spot. That should hopefully also protect the ship. We're running. There's no point staying anymore. If we can get everyone onto the clown car, we're getting out of here. Well, after the original sapper died, the rest of them appear to be running this direction. Um, Wandering. Wandering. Melee attacking solar generator. Okay, so they think they're going to get around some other way. That's that's fine. Ortec, you can join up with everyone else. Ortec is on go juice. Plus, they've got a couple of charges left in their jump pack. They should be fine. Actually, how is this crowd doing? Oh my god, some of these people are going to be so slow. And oh, I left that door locked. As I kept opening everything back up, I kept forgetting to open up doors, didn't I? Well, it's just we were so cramped in and hemmed in at the start. All right, the entire, well, everyone's streaming that direction. Some people have mental breaks. They may not be able to join us, unfortunately. We may be leaving a few people behind. But considering the threats we're facing and the state of our base, which is basically Swiss cheese, I think it's best we run if we can. Oh, it looks like some of the tribals have run into our, uh, our siegers. Yeah, that's not going to go well for the tribals. Machine guns versus bows. Also, the machine gunners have, you know, lots of shield belts. And, oh, yeah, they're also doing a ton of drugs before they start. Of course they are. Oh, and I just heard some sort of incendiary round launch. That is not going to go well for them over there. On this side, probably not looking too good either. They're having to deal with centipedes, though piecemeal. Centipedes, lancers, though still that is going to slow them down. Something shocking. For sappers, they're not really doing so good. And over here... Wow, yeah, the ones that decided to hang around this section just are also getting absolutely slammed as well. This is good. While our enemies fight and kill each other, we get to run away. Uh, how are we looking down here? Team's looking good, and 156 Sexy is on a mental break of an insulting spree. On the bright side, anyone who's got an insulting spree will end up down here to insult someone. All right, everyone hurry up. We need to get everyone down here. Uh, how are we looking? Contents. One Jason Burke, one J Roop, uh, one Alex. Uh, where's the rest? In fact, how's everyone's mood looking? Yeah, everyone's mood's looking... Well, strange feeling by two is definitely going to help. Though the uh, the amount of negatives we've got going on, probably not too good either. Thank thankfully, that wedding is just keeping us from having as many mental breaks as we should be getting. These tribes people decided to flee. I think it might have been the field of corpses that discouraged them. Hmm. Uh, this crowd over here have not decided to flee yet, though they're uh, they're running into heavier and heavier centipede resistance. I don't think it's going to be much longer before they break and flee as well. How many of them are left? Uh, a fair few, actually. Though, yeah, no, they're still not going to make it. We, uh, we, oh, 
sorry, the map is uh, freaking out a bit when we get to this sort of scale. I think we're going to have everyone in position shortly, and then when we do, we're just going to tell them all to uh, rush into the shuttle. And it should be sort of a clown car scenario. Good thing to note, when uh, meat beacons are inside the shuttle, you don't get their effects. So, yeah, unfortunate. A few people are close to Mental Break territory, we're probably going to have to leave a few people behind. Unfortunate, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles. You know, I had no idea that centipedes like to play poker. Hey! So it turns out we have something in common with them. Wh who would have guessed? I think I might have an idea how we can get the psychotically broken into the ship. Uh, all we have to do is make them unconscious. And if they're unconscious, then we can carry them into the ship. Assuming we don't accidentally kill them by punching them to death, which would be bad. But if we can knock them out, well... Let's just say unconsciousness and the possibility of death is better than being left behind on this hellhole once we're gone, because there will, there's no surviving this. Yeah, this way should try to binge some alcohol. Uh, yeah, that didn't work out for them very well. Hold on, we gotta carry these to the shuttle, and then we're gonna chuck everyone in. It's time to clown carry the sucker. Anyone else mental breaks tough, you're getting left behind. Everyone else is here, I think we got one person who's long distance away, Steven. But everyone else, yeah, get in. Two of you, unfortunately, are going to be left behind because your mental breaks are too far away from where we can beat you unconscious and chuck you into the shuttle. We'll tend to your medical injuries when you, you know, when after we take off. Come on, come on, come on, hurry up. And here we go. Everyone in. The lot of you. Come on. Get in shuttle. 177 people. Can they all fit? Will Emily mind? God knows. Okay. It is, it's a clown car. Ah, yes. Okay, I cannot believe we have finally made it. It took forever. Oh my god. This game has been moving at glacial speeds for god knows how long. I deserve, I deserve this drink. Hey, uh, come on, the last of you get in. Bodle, running a bit slow there, buddy. No, actually. Why is the game hanging? No. Just no. Come on. Not now. Not now. Oh, God. God. I don't care. We've got enough people in. If, 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 um. No, no. No, no, we're good. We're good. The game's, the game's okay. For a second there, I thought we were getting another raid. But the game has given up. All right, Bodil, once Bodil get, and Steven gets in, we're out of here. And last but not least, we have 178, Steven. Steven's going to wander into the ship. Now, a uh, quick pause here while we check some things. There's two pawns left behind. Uh, 83, Mr. Chaos, I am sorry, but you're in a mental state of go juice binging, so we had no chance to beat you unconscious. Bef you just weren't close enough to anyone. And then we got El Turista at 136. They're having a psychotic wonder, so they were nowhere near anyone to get beaten up either. So, unfortunately, those two... Got, wait, who's... Oh, and 156 Sexy, who's on an insulting spree, though I'm pretty sure they're going to over... Yep, they're going over to insult a centipede. That's going to go about as well as you expect. Soon they will be unconscious, but uh, too far away for us to rescue them. Anyway, let's say goodbye to this planet. It has been uh, interesting. One quick thing to note before we go. Some people say... I've become more ruthless as the game has gone on and become more brutal in my dictatorship needs. Um, I'd like to say no, not, I haven't become brutal and dictator enough. What's, what's, uh, what's killing me is how soft I am. Like, for example, Sexy is over here about to die being left behind because I was not brutal enough to beat them down when the moment, when I had them opportunity. They were right over here, right by the shuttle. I could have beaten them down right then and there, but I didn't think. I wasn't fast enough. I, I, my brain did not jump quickly enough to the obvious conclusion of just beat them unconscious. True, it's brutal. This will make you a good person, but it would have saved lives. When, when all of the people were running, screaming through the corridors, trying to escape all the centipedes and scythers that were chasing them when the first haywire raid landed, what did I do? I, I had a bunch of pawns here and I tried to run them all away. I should have left one behind to tie up the enemies or to slow down the centipedes, or send one off as a distraction to let the rest escape. I should have been willing to sacrifice one of the pawns to make sure the rest of them had a chance. Sacrifice two or three to save four, maybe. Whatever it took. But I just tried running them all, and they all got shot in the back and slashed and slowed down, and eventually they all got caught. Because I was not strong enough to make the hard choice. 
that's one of the weird things about RimWorld. If you sometimes you're better off locking the door and leaving one of your pawns outside just so that it doesn't drag the trouble inside and kill even more. Ugh, it, it, this game, it puts you in scenarios you, where you're thinking, wow, I should have been more evil. I don't know if that's a good thing, but it's definitely the only game that's ever done it to me. Anyway, goodbye, hellhole. It is, uh, it is good to be leaving. Hey, goodbye, Stephen Tal, Bodil, Leon, Darmok, Adrian, Cheese? Oh, Cheese was one of the ones you never actually even named. Lieutenant Shepard, Simoa Fontes, uh, Glek, Tar, Tar, never mind. Foosh, Andrew Johnson, Warpzor, Brian Johns, Mouth, Griff Bolin, David Wick, CM Dirk, John Mitchell, Annoy, Vicky Radcliffe, Buttslinger, Jesus. <laughs> Eric Schooney, Dan, Zogden, Ransom Blind, I Like Rocks, K Dad, Jason Zielinski, Leety Doyle, Uber Kitten, My Ilrad, mm. James, The Luke, Zombie Pops. Zombie Pops, you actually made it this time round. Good job. Chris Brink, Stephen Scoff, Tom Powell, Zachary Zeno, Fish Dog, Vile Soup, Kevin Chink M, uh, Worthyworth, Alanism, Nate Tensiar, Ghostpedia, Coffee, Holly Jensum, JV, Nick. Nicholas, Little Code F, Jack French, Philip Math, Justin Papa, Jason, Ali Piper, Boydra, Kylie B, jo Jonas Royland, Pseudonym, Velaminsky, Daniel Edgar, Sonico, Cadiz, Jason Mugrid, Bagel, Adam Jabrav, Jabrav, uh, Jabrav, Zag Zagzig, Halo Davis, Rachel Matt, Eric T. Lund, Sinatro, Hans Martin, Menelaus, Jacob Carroll, Jade Powell, Desky, Dikoth, Sabir Hassan, Patrick, Matthew Gree, M M Mika Hamby, Taylor Fumher, Fumher, Ollie Martin, Corey Fitz, Jeremy Hill, Kit Chatiri, Chatiri, Jason, Jason Stewart, Harry Height, Jake Goyu, Jenny Mort, Robert Lord, Furious George, Michael Lund, Kevin Clark, Doc Jeeves. Ori H. V. V. Douglas Hobbs. Scott Oppen. Uh, Scott Oppenheimer? Probably. Buddy Mitchell. Catgirl Diogenes. Ralph Dieter. Spooky. Frederick. Scrabbles. Edge Free. Matt Kowalski. Trick Cigar. Jerick Dane. Zach Loveless. Kelly Pretty. Mascot. Camille Kap Kapetsky. Kazepsky. Mataya. Uh, Christian Moo. White Fox, Quantum Zari, Jonas Simple, Gravy Train, Chris Neal, Tia Lucas, Nix Tempest, Jacob Zeich, Bowman Taz, Ortex, Scott Wilhelm, Paddy Wagon, Bertie Manson, Henry, Jeff Peters, Epilogue, Charlie, Betsy Leaps, Amphat Dragon, Alucard 1001, uh, Rowan Soy Soy Soybe, Matt M, Jeresi, ah, Larum, Bramble Seed, Peter Werner, Sebastius, Pika, Pika Mula, Compiled, Udramacht, Epsilon 4, Jason Fenwick, Frank Lee, Supman, Nick Chapman, Sean McCabe, Stephen Curran, Benjamin Shi, Adam K Kristen, Julian, Kenflaw, Triphoenix, Christosax, oh my god, the songs ended and they're still names, Adam Zelenki, 21 Flavor Jeans, Beth, oh wait, no, Beth was just a random call, Darth Bader, Paul Orr, Requies, Honest Guy, Matthew Cream, uh, Gregort's Blast, Gre Gregort's Blast, Philomenus, T Tiro Puntkin, Joel, Jeremy he Heinigan, Jeremy Heinigan, Hingen, uh, De Schweitzer, Frederick Haar, Big Pack Ben Nurgle, Skylar Manny, Samuel Tess, Thomas Cahill, Mayo? No, I think that was just a randomer. Yunners, Macromy, uh, Jess, Paul Burr, Alex, J. Roop, and Jason Burke. These colonists were left behind. Mr. Chaos, Sexy, and Altruista. Sorry, guys, you broke. The High Stalark will now welcome you into the Imperial Fertiler as our honoured noble party. It's going to get real sweaty in that shuttle. Not going to lie, that's a lot of people, all with a lot of hormones. You might say the Imperial Court and Jockey for Political Power. No, 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 they're just after Emily. They're after Emily, it's all right. Choice is up to you. In memory of, a moment of silence, please, for all of those who died. Now, we're only going to mention the ones that actually have numbers in them because they were the ones. Those were the ones that actually counted. 
Petru Massimo, Karlovic, Ancient Gammoner, Richard Benko, Allard Bo de Boyer, Mobile, J. Ray, Nechachawan, Jonas Jalling, No Time to Play, Emma01, Andy, Doc2008, Mohayam, MTT, Poitras, Shot Through the Heart, Kayin, Timothy Cow, Cokeman. I think Cokeman, didn't you go out and yeah, the pyromaniac that went out in flames? Benton Smith, Swagger Burns, Joey, Sasha Grossman, Odin Meshilek, Chris Phillips, and Uzo. A moment of silence, please, for the, for those who died. At the end there, I was I didn't think we were going to finish that game. There was only 12 hours in-game. That was 12 hours in-game was all we did. Like, not, not in real time. Like, the, the engine had 12 hours left on it at the start of that episode. And that was just 12 hours of just clawing for survival. Just trying to fend off the mental breaks and keep everyone from snapping. And maybe just reclaiming some territory so people could take a nap. Ah. <sighs> so glad. So glad that, like, I am never doing a, a playthrough that big again. Unless it's a smaller map. Or I have a more powerful computer, maybe. <laughs> and there we go. Now don't get shut down by any anti-aircraft fire on the way out. No, oh, wait, different game. <laughs> yeah, our, uh, our bedrooms are looking a little bit occupied at the moment. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't get the last three out of here once they recover from their mental breaks. If I can get them into a caravan and off the map and uh, then banish them, I'll consider that a win. Unfortunately for Sexy, they were in the midst of an insulting spree, and they said some unspeakable things about a centipede's wife. Uh, the centipede did not take this well, and they riddled Sexy full of hot plasma. Also, well, it's actually kind of nice on the side project, uh, they, they kill a, a lancer on their way out, which is great. They were, they were mentally broken, and they still managed to kill a lancer along the way, which, you know, respect, good job. However, it didn't actually kill them, it just knocked them unconscious. Some quick animal zoning, and we did manage to bring them back to a hospital bed. Unfortunately for us, we needed a doctor who wasn't mentally broken to, to tend to them. That left only one option, Mr. Chaos. El Turista, unfortunately, was incapable of tending. And Mr. Chaos had a tend skill of about two. So all we had to do was hope that they didn't get themselves killed. We just, you know, had to hope and came out of their mental break without dying. Yeah, that was, that was tricky. Very tricky. Unfortunately, they didn't come out of their mental break in time for us to tend to, uh, sexy. Sorry. The moment they got unmental broken, we immediately got them to tend to themselves because, of course, they were sporting a couple of bleeding injuries. Then we got them to arrest El Turista. Uh, now, the odds were about 96%, but I was willing to take that risk at this point because, yeah, it just needed to be done. We arrested them, immediately released them, and then drugged them both up to the eyeballs to make sure that neither of them would have any more mental breaks for the short period of time we were going to be keeping them around. Then we immediately made a giant caravan and included all the animals in it, because, you know, we don't leave the animals behind. We're, we're like a, a good colony. We want to make sure we release them all. Of course, I forgot a whole bunch of them. Yeah, that was, um, oops. But we, we released all the animals into the wild. The game calls it banishment. I call it releasing. And we let them all go free. Then we sent El Turista back. Thankfully, they came in in the top middle of the map, because they could, there were some places they could have come in that would have been instant death, but they were lucky. And then we got together the last of the animals. Bar one donkey, I think. We got pretty much all of them, but this was like the last trip we were doing, and then we got all the animals and released them into the wild as well. And then we banished our last two colonists to end our colony. Easy peasy. Oh, wait, yeah, you can't banish your last colonist, it turns out. <sighs> okay, so we went back into the map and we had a quick check of the raid. Yet yeah, this got dark. These raid guys, they had nowhere to... They, they never got any other food drops or mortar drops. So, yeah, they had mental breaks from the starvation, and then they killed each other, and then some of the people ate the corpses of the people they killed, which led to cannibalism debuffs, which led to more mental breaks and more people getting killed and more cannibalism. Yeah. So we had to finish out... Anyway, we had to figure out a way to basically get our last colonist off, you know, to leave. And we couldn't arrest them or anything, but 
you can just stick them into a transport pod. We already had a, a thing made, we just needed to put a pod on it. And then we could uh, let them loose. Oh, I checked the map before we left and it was 474 centipede corpses. Corpses, 91 pikeman corpses, 247 lancer corpses, 339 scyther corpses, and 1,765 human corpses. That's um, yeah, that's 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 a lot. I'm gonna go with that. That that's an awful lot of, of bodies on the map. Um, at the same time, I am I learned a lot playing this, but I I don't think I would have played it so much played it the same way if I had known exactly how long it was going to take. This took way longer than I thought it was. Damn, it was too long. A big thanks to everyone in the comments. All of the uh, helpful suggestions have been helping me gradually improve game on game. You keep thinking you've, you've figured out RimWorld and then people keep coming up with new and innovative ways of actually getting around all the problems. So thanks to everyone for that. Huge thanks to all of the Patreons who, uh, whose support allowed me to run way too many colonists. And a big apologies to all of you that died, uh, sacrificing your lives so that Emily may, you know, keep doing whatever she was doing. Yeah, that that uh, that storyline just sort of wrote itself by accident in there. But all hail Emily, as they say. I, I think she got what she was after, probably. Maybe m maybe the people who were chasing her got her. I don't know. I'm sure there's a moral in there somewhere. I'm just not sure exactly what it is. I think I'm going to take a couple of weeks off RimWorld just to, just to let that one settle down. That was oh my god, that that just that clawing, scrambling for space at the end was just. It felt like desperation. So you're just like, come on, keep it together, people, just a little bit longer. But okay, I'm gonna just take a quick break, a couple of weeks, maybe try try a few random games. I like to look at that new Rift Breaker one. I want to give that one a shot. And there's a few other games I just like to play. A few just, you know, casual ones, nothing too extreme. Just uh, dip my toes in a little bit. This uh, commitment to larger series like this take an awful lot more time and effort. And I'd like to just, you know, take a couple of weeks off, chill out, enjoy something uh, a little bit light, light and fluffy. Uh, I'll cut this one out here before I ramble even further. Honestly, I could ramble for another 10 minutes about stuff involving that series. But I do have to finish that... Uh, PC build video and I need to do all the editing and take a few extra pictures so I got I gotta do that now or I won't have it ready in time for Sunday maybe I can get it Saturday, Saturday or Sunday I'll have it out one of these days anyway big thanks to everyone again for all the support and help I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck